got back up to the uh, dog house. Got a little bit of work I'm going to do today. I should have done this here before, but because I don't know anything, I'm paying for it now. I got to change the filter and the gasket on the transmission. I was thinking about doing it when it was out, but I just forgot about it, so now I'm stuck where I got to do it underneath the truck. And uh, I'm going to hook up my <coughs> my gas lines from the water from the uh, fuel pump to the carburetor. I got a new uh, brake line for the back, just a flex line. I got my rad or my uh, got my fan belt, V belt, whatever you want to call it. I'll put that on. Um, I got my cables for my my choke and my idle. I got I got my cables for my uh, standard choke and my fast idle. I'm just going strictly manual. I'm not going to do any of the automatic choke and this sort of stuff. It was, it was old school before, so I'll do old school again. The knobs are already in the truck. So then I'll just have these holes or just buttons that do nothing, but um, I bought better ones from Summit and uh, it, it just going, it's just going to look better. So anyway, we'll get at her. We got the, uh, the truck all jacked up, we got the jack stands, safety first. You never have uh, enough safety. But anyway, I'll uh, let you know how she figured out. Well, I got my master cylinder in, got it bench bled, got my lines on all right. That was hard to get on there. Got my uh, brake light switch hooked up. So I guess the next job is to get my transmission cross member set up to get my angle on my transmission and my rear end, my drive shaft and this sort of stuff. Rocker Pat set me in the right direction. I think I got it all figured out now. All I have to do is put it together and measure it again and see what it's like. But I had to use a piece of uh, C channel because you just can't buy a cross member for a 1954 Fargo half ton to match a GM Turbo 400 transmission. It just can't be done. So well, you got to MacGyver it. And that's what I did. But anyway, we'll uh, shut her down for the day. And we'll pick her up again tomorrow. Well, I got my master cylinder in. Um, it's right underneath the floor, driver's side. But my filler is, sorry, my filler is over here. The whole access hole is over here. So as usual, I run into another problem. But I got a cutter. I just have to cut the floor, so that's what I'm going to do, cut the floor. Yeah, sure enough, you see here, there's the filler way over here. It doesn't do me any good, so I guess i got to cut this part of the floor out here. But no problem, I'll just have a little hatch here to flip up and down or whatever the case may be. But we'll get her figured out. Just adds a little bit more work to it, but story of my life.
There. Follow the line. Everything will be fine. So I will. I should better get in there with my cutters. Cutters won't cut this steel. That's like that's not tin. That's back in 1954. Steel was steel. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to have to use my uh, little die grinder. Down. Done deal. 